Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. Today we will be learning on the last topic of sequential circuit topic. So I have covered many subtopics in sequential circuits, right from the latches to the different kind of flip flop to the conversion of flip flop. Synchronous flip flop, the types of synchronous flip flop, asynchronous flip flop, designing of asynchronous flip flop, and now we are to finite state machine. This is a final topic. If you haven't watched all these videos and if you are interested, please refer to the digital electronics playlist on my YouTube channel. All these videos are covered in detail. The notes are present down in the description box or also of each and every video. Also, the short summary notes, the formula sheets, the diagram sheets, the logic sheets, which will really help you at the time of your examination, are also uploaded on my Instagram page. The links are given down in the description box of my Instagram page, which is Explore Edu to Teach. Please do not forget me to follow me on Instagram as well if you are really liking my content. So let's begin up with finite state machines. So what is finite state machine? Finite state machines, or called as FSM. is basically a sequential synchronous circuit so by now you understand the meaning of sequential also and synchronous also so what do you mean by sequential sequential means wherein my output doesn't only depend upon my present input but also on my past output and synchronous indicates that is clock is given to each and every flip flop hence i can say a finite state machine is a synch sequential synchronous circuit so there are two type of finite state machines one is the milli state other one is the mure state so what happens in the milli state in case of your milli state if you see the output depends upon the present input and the present state so that is very important so in case of your milli state machine my output depends upon present input and my present state wherein my present state is nothing else than a part of my previous output so a milli state machine basically depends upon two inputs one is the present input the other one is the present state that is the part of my previous output So if you see over here, the output definitely depends upon the present inputs, and a certain part of my previous output is given via the memory. That is my milli state machine. If I talk about a mure state machine, my output does depends upon the present state, that is the part of the previous output, but doesn't depend upon this present state input. I hope. i am very clear with this and you have got a better understanding about this thing okay so what is mure state machine mure state machine basically depends upon just the present state that is a part of my previous output i hope i am clear with this so just to say about what is a finite state machine or fsm a finite state machine or fsm indicates that It's a sequential synchronous circuit. There are two type of finite state machine. One is the milli and the mure. The milli output depends upon the present input and the present state. That is the part of the previous output. The mure state machine depends upon the only the present state. That is the part of the previous output, not on the present input. So we will solve one question, which will give you understanding about how to deal with numericals on FSM. So Let's try to first understand what is the numerical saying and then solve it. So complete the table below, the table which is given over here, based on the state transition diagram given below. So there's a diagram given if you see over here. There is a state S zero, there is a state S one, there is a state S two, there is a state S three. So depending upon the in value, my next state will be determined and my output value will be determined. So if I just see what happens when my present state is s0 and my in is 1 my next state is s1 and my output is 0 similarly when i take my next state as s1 if my in value is 0 
my next state is s2 and my output is 0 now if my present state is s2 and my in value is 1 my next state is s3 and my output is 1 similarly if my next state is s3 and my in value is 0 if you see in value 0 it goes back to s2 and my output is 0 so just you have to follow the diagram see what is the value of i n given similarly you can determine what is the next state and the output so i hope i am very clear with this what do you mean by a finite state machine what are the examples of the finite state machine in terms of Milli and More? And how do you solve a numerical on this particular concept? So if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram as well. The description uh, is uh, the links are given down in the description box as well. Uh, we will be starting in the next uh, lectures about DAC, ADCs and so on and so forth. Many other subjects will also be covered on my YouTube channel. So please do like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it to other people who might find this channel useful. Thank you so much guys for all your support. Keep supporting. Keep uh, always being there. Thank you so much guys. God bless.